One scary story which quite often comes up is that the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are going to collide. This of course brings up several questions. The first of which, is it true? Followed swiftly by, what will happen to the two galaxies when they do collide? Or more specifically, to life on Earth? And of course, how soon is this all going to happen? The first question, like many things, the answer is both yes and no. The Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way are moving towards each other at what it may appear to be a relatively fast speed of about a quarter of a million miles per hour, or about three hundredths of one percent of the speed of light. And yes, they will pass through each other. However, since most of the space, even within galaxies, is just empty space, the concept of a collision is rather misleading. The chance that any one star colliding with another is extremely remote. However, because there are so many stars in each galaxy, it is certainly possible that there will be a collision of a couple or even more stars. But it's on the scale of if you had, say, two people running across the USA, one going from west to east, the other from east to west, and then bumping into each other. It doesn't mean, however, that we know noticeable effects here on Earth, or even that life on Earth is perfectly safe. The good news is because the galaxies are actually still so far apart, it will be three billion years before the galaxies start to merge or pass through each other, and about six billion years before the process is completed. So the changes that are normally happening within our Sun are more likely to put an end to life on Earth than anything about the merger. And one effect that's certainly going to happen is that when the two galaxies merge, the night sky will come considerably brighter than it was before, since the number of stars close to our own will increase substantially. Now what is less certain is what the outcome of all of those stars passing close to each other in the Milky Way will actually have. Now the gravitational pull of those new stars will dramatically alter the orbits of stars around the spiral arms of the Milky Way, and also may alter the orbits of planets around those stars. In addition, the new stars will of course be bringing along their own planets, comets, asteroids and dust, all of which will be attracted to the stars and the orbiting planets of the Milky Way, and all interacting in countless different ways. Now, the Milky Way, as it settles down after the merger, will also no longer be the spiral galaxy we are familiar with. Instead, it's likely to end up as a disk galaxy. But the merger of the two galaxies isn't a merger of equals, since the Andromeda Galaxy contains about three times as many stars as the Milky Way, and the merger may even be joined by the smaller Triangulum Galaxy. Now, all of this could mean some large impact wiping out life on Earth. It also could mean that additional asteroids bring water and other substances in large amounts to the Earth. It could also mean that additional hydrogen or other elements are sucked into our system, altering the life of our Sun. The Sun itself could be sucked into the merger of two black holes at the heart of each galaxy, or even it could be flung out completely from the new galaxy as a lone wandering star. However, all of this will be billions of years in the future, so there's nothing to worry about. It should be a fascinating event nonetheless.